Hey guys, welcome to the final days of the Spartan Up series. Um, now, I'm doing this video because, as you guys may know, I always love requests. So, you guys did request me to do the final um, chapters in Men Don't Love Women Like You, which is more of a test and things to check out if you're actually being a spartan out here or if you have what gl lambert puts some weak babe mentality left so if you're joining me right now i just want to make a disclaimer if you have no idea what i mean by the spartan up series by gl lambert by a uh, weak babe mentality that means that you did not watch the other videos so I'm just gonna be naming off some titles so that you get the idea of what I'm talking about so that is typical girls get typical results he loves you but he's not in love with you the D lies awaken the Spartan within the Spartan secret how to become a game changer and of course the latest how to attract men without even trying so if you didn't watch any of those videos i will be leaving the link to the playlist i created for you so that you're caught up with all of that and now that we got all of our disclaimers out the way let's get into it so let me just tell you how i'm going to separate this i'm going to separate it by days but it's not going to be such of a long wait because, yes, I'm going to record everything today, but it's going to just be released at different times. Because when I tell you this is something to digest, I tell you this is something to digest. And I feel like I talk like this every chapter of G.L. Lambert's Men Don't Love Women Like You, but after I'm done, you will definitely see why. So let's get into it. So how to Spartan up in three days? You know, he starts by talking about, you know, we were doing great. You know, when you first read this book, what? Couldn't tell me nothing. Nothing. Absolutely a thing. But things happen. And, you know, when we get to day three, we're going to talk about maintaining the Spartan. But right now, we're, you know, putting water back on her. Um, you know, chapter five may make you realize that this was all of your creation so let's say you fell off the game you know you start blaming people right you become that victim mentality again that's how you know you fell out of spartanhood because to be a spartan is goddess consciousness and being aligned with the goddess that you are okay but when you start you know having panic attacks about the coronavirus you realize that you're back in basica all right um and if you want consistent results you can't just think like a spartan you have to live like a spartan it takes discipline to con you know be confident and conquer all that you want okay if what if is in the back of your head you're back at being a regular fear-based human but this round you now know what to do it's not like oh i don't know where to go what to do or anything like that you now know what to do you have the tools you just gotta do it you gotta live by it you gotta breathe it you gotta eat it and understand that this book isn't for just hearing it okay this isn't like you know some feel-good music these are for practitioners. You gotta practice living in your goddess hood. Okay? This isn't no, oh, here's a bowl. Zzz. No, this is, hey, have your own experience. And we're gonna get back into what that is a year later, okay? <laughs> Understand that even though things aren't going as planned, it's still going as a higher plan. I know a lot of people say that, but understand that this is for something deep. 
really deep than just, you know, living by other people's wills, okay? Um, and this is your last chance or the last time for you to get this now opposed to later. So really take time to really grasp it. Feel what I'm saying or what I'm trying to say through this book. Like I said, there's nothing like having the book itself because I can only say this so much. I'm not going to try to plagiarize every word that G.L. Lambert said, but I'll try to say enough, okay? Um, no matter if this is your first time reading the book or first time being here or 22nd time being here because I know I watched my videos over just so I can hear it over, okay, in a different way. So it doesn't matter how many times you revisit here. Welcome. Okay. Um, do things the right way. Take your time and take breaks if needed in this journey. Okay. Because understand this is a journey about ascension. This is no like textbook how to get a sugar daddy overnight. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we're not doing this. This is about being the goddess that you are already like i'm saying before so day one stay out of your old head as a spartan you're not chained to the past action from your former self okay i don't even care if we're talking about five minutes ago it has to be looked back on like infancy don't carry the guilt of having a tantrum of a two-year-old you no one tells you to forgive yourself and no one tells you that even the wrong moves are the right moves in retrospect by carrying that fear that your future is at stake it'll leave you in the climax of fear and you'll be stuck in an analytical press procrastination so teenage you young adult you adult you are all like infancies and it's the process you go through learning how to walk all right you can so you know really think about it how can you judge yourself when you were misinformed about life in general this isn't about not taking responsibility for your past it's about reframing the past as a roadmap that always led you back to the same point, awakening. You make believe that you had options, but you always had one path that led you here. So the result of looking down on yourself on perceived wrong moves is depression instead of focusing on your actual life. Don't escape into the fantasy of I messed everything up back in the day because in that part of your story, you were sleeping, okay? You were the sleeping giant and now you're waking up, okay? The mind has a nasty habit of remembering the things that you're not proud of and it doesn't record it as a prologue but instead it records it as a cycle. That's why the thoughts rush back to trauma. The problem with phobia is that you can't see the difference between who you once were and who you are now. Understanding the game of this thing called life. So before anyone tries to come at anyone's neck about creating a fragment within thyself, let me continue because it's not like that at all okay so day one is all about focusing on the difference between your past and your present it's important to create a breaking point opposed from a split personality evolving isn't about forgetting or lying to yourself it's about understanding and forgiving because you weren't being yourself a hundred percent that wasn't a full version of you and you were rejected for it. So you may have situations that, you know, 
probably like broke your heart or made you feel some type of way but that was you not being who you were completely so you have to forgive yourself for that the moment that you can see your mistake and reflect on it you become a new person right then and there today you become a unified you so step one have dual thoughts Basically, you is out of control. She's a victim. She's upset that she has to wake up for work. She's upset that she doesn't know what she's going to do because quarantine right now. You know, <laughs> by Spartan, you is strong, determined, and understanding that this world is created by you, the goddess. And Spartan, you laughs it off because you're the main character and someone else cannot affect your mood outside opinions doesn't matter and i know we've heard that a thousand times over but we're gonna keep on getting deep everything that i say it's not blankets of statements where i have no depth to it it's going to get deeper so be patient did you fall in love with the person in the mirror was the first test that you should have heard in the other videos okay you're supposed to be able to make yourself drip okay and enjoy that feeling of it that of being in love with who you are the clothes doesn't make the women the woman makes the clothes and you can't make the clothes if you didn't fall in love with that woman, okay? So every choice you make is positive. It doesn't matter what it is, it can always change your life for the better. So learn how to come from fear to confident, stress to calm, and you don't have to wish or pray because you are the force. Don't stop till you get enough, keep on. With the force, don't stop. Don't stop till you get enough. Keep on. With the force, don't stop. Don't stop till you get enough. <laughs> so step two. Understanding projections. Thoughts create reality. So pay attention to your thoughts and pay attention to your reality so that you can test how that works out for yourself. And it's not just, oh, yeah, believe this because believe this. It's like, Believe this because you've experienced it, because nobody can take your experience away from you. So to overcome, you have to learn how to overcome people and things that try to push your buttons. Don't stay in that negativity that creates pity or anger. This doesn't mean to be neutral or numb, but to analyze it as a recent mood and not your current mood. Mood. There's a difference. Okay. So you don't need today is the day that you do not need to prove anything to anyone. The power placed into other people's hands are enormous before a situation happens because a lot of people we are learned to turn our current moods into I mean I'm sorry our recent mood into our current mood. Or another word for mood is vibrations. Okay. So synchronicity between you and your world is happening over and over. Your world is the schism between dark and light. You determine who has the power by tuning into it. Your internal world determines your external. It doesn't mean that positive mind will only attract positive things and you'll never run into anything negative because not only does the universe require a balance but life will be boring could you imagine watching empire and everybody got along here we're not faking anything you're not fake unbothered but truly not affected by outside forces the key here is to keep this type of thinking and understand what kind of power you have. Recent versus current mood. There's a difference. 
So step three is the first chapter test. So if you do not know, typical girls get typical results. You know, you should be up to par with that. Then that means that you already did this test. And if you're revisiting, it's all right. You'll probably be writing about maybe day seven or something like that. Write this down. You went through a day as a Spartan. So you write out your day as a life, as her, as if it's a novel. This is for your eyes only, so it's your discretion on what you write, okay? So today, and your Spartan name, so Spartan whoever you are, I really enjoyed him talking about Spartan Phoenix. So today, Spartan Phoenix woke up and did XYZ get into detail okay so you can see the difference so you can you know see that reality isn't really that scary and understand the power of you being the narrator that's why you're gonna write in third person and make it easy and simple to follow something that a third grader can read and you know completely comprehend it forces you to look back and see every day before it isn't this stressful chaotic day it's merely a story based on a thought this is who you are you choose not to be reactive you're choosing the character's path the world that she's operating in is your playground yes there's rules like any other regular game but it's still your playground once you can control your thoughts, you can control your reactions. You are the universe. As soon as you understand that, the more you'll learn that the world is a mirage and you'll appreciate the world for what it is in its randomness, okay? So that is day one. Like I said, I am going to continue with day two step by step. And since it's not like a short well, in my notes, it looks short, but it's not a short thing to really grasp all at once. I'm going to separate the videos, and I'll see you on day two. Ciao, Bellas. Talk soon.